Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh F6. This is my tutorial on how to crack WPA on a WPS enabled access point using Reaver on Backtrack 5. Uh, for this, you'll be needing, of course, Backtrack 5, but in this case, you're going to need the R2 version specifically because it comes with Reaver on Wasp pre installed. I'm booting off my SanDisk 4 gig flash drive. Uh, you're also going to need a compatible wireless injection card. I'm using my Netgear WG11 V2 wireless card. Uh, you can get this stuff over to sites githacker.com forward slash store as well as other tutorials such as these and hacking services that could be beneficial to you. Uh, so don't forget to check that out, skidhacker.com. Okay, so uh, before we get started, some of you may be asking what is Reaver, what is WPS? Uh, WPS is short for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. It's a feature coming on most of the newer access points. It was a feature that was intended to create a more simple setup process when connecting to a network. Uh, so basically there's two types of WPS setup methods, there's the push button method and the pin method. Uh, the push button method basically before you connect to a WPS access point, uh, you go to the client and you press the WPS button, whether it be a software WPS button or hardware, you press that. Then you walk over to the access point, press the hardware or software WPS button, and it will send the encryption settings back over to the client, get it set up and connected. Uh, the WPS pin method is a 8-digit pin hard-coded to the access point. Um, basically you input that pin to the client trying to connect and it will send the encryption settings back over to the client, get it set up and connected. Uh, Reaver attempts to brute force this pin method. Uh, Reaver documentation says it could take anywhere from basically instant cracking to about eight hours uh, of brute forcing. Okay so to get started just open up a terminal and we're going to see what interfaces we have connected. Uh, to do that, just run airmon-ng. And my interface is WLAN0. And to enable injection on it and monitor mode, just run airmon-ng. Start in your interface. And it's going to be set on a new virtual interface, mon0. Okay, so many of you may be wondering, how do I know if there's a WPS exploitable access point around me? Uh, this is where WASH comes in. It's a addition to Reaver. Uh, this tool finds WPS enabled access points. Um, so we're just going to run it really quick. I'm going to show the dash help printout just for reference. There, these are all the arguments it has. Uh, basically, when you use this, you're just going to use a dash I option, which is your interface. And uh, as I said before, it's enabled on mon0, so we're going to run that. Wash dash i mon0. Alright, so here's all the WPS access points. Uh, there's only one that's mine right now. It's uh, skidhacker.com is the ESSID, and the BSSID is uh, right here. So basically, if a new one comes up, it, you know, it'll populate there in real time. So to stop scanning, hit control, hit C. Alright, so now to show Reaver, uh, it's going to run the dash help printout as well. Here. Uh, there's, there's some pretty good options like uh, to get to, uh, set the channel, 5 gigahertz option, uh, the Mac, ESSID, and some other ones. So basically to run this, we're just going to run Reaver dash i your interface minus mon zero dash b and you go back up to where you scanned with wash here and copy the bss id and paste it alright so now it's pasted and then dash v for just more verbosity and we're going to run that and if you tried it before, say restore session, and I've tried it before. Um, so here's just uh, trying to brute force the WPS pin. So here's an attempt, here's an attempt, and here's an attempt. Basically about one a second, and you can change the speed it attempts to brute force it. Actually right here it says about two, a, a, two pins a second. Okay, so this is what would happen if uh, it did get the pin and I have the pin right here. I'm going to run it with the dash P option for pin. I'm going to type it in. All 
Alright, so here's the 8 digit pin. I'm going to run that. Alright, and it it found it was the uh, it was a duplicate pin, and here's the WPA PS key password. Complex password underscore one three three seven. So what I like about this, no matter how complex the the uh, WPA password is, it's gonna crack it. It's not like a you know normal WPA cracking where you need to dictionary attack or brute force if you have enough power. Um, you know it's always gonna crack the WPA key. All right, so that's my tutorial on how to crack WPA on a WPS enabled access point using Reaver on Backtrack 5R2. Um, if you didn't find any WPS enabled access points in your area, don't forget to check out uh, KB12K tutorial on how to crack WPA the old school way with the handshake cracking. Um, and also check out our WPA cracking service over at skidhacker.com forward slash WPA crack. This is Joshua 6. Thanks for watching.